Owen Park CrossFit, welcome to another Fitness Friday video. We are on part two of our cycling series. This week we are talking snatch. Um, we are going to cover all three snatches, just like we did the cleans. Um, muscle, power, squat. Um, a lot of those mechanics, like I mentioned last week, are going to be the exact same here. So those first couple that I want to talk about are our feet. Our feet really shouldn't move past that first rep. So if we move the feet on the first one, um, that's totally okay but I want to keep my feet there for the subsequent reps because I really don't need to move them. Um, the second that I'm going to keep the same is on the way down. We're going to try and get those elbows over the top as soon as possible. And the other is the brush on the way down instead of that full stop. Um, a big one, especially on snatch, oddly enough, is people like to, especially on hang snatch, they like to hang out here. Uh, mid rep so they've done three reps of like a five rep set in the round uh, and they like to hang out here and breathe real heavy be holding on to the bar and then go back into those snatches don't do that drop the bar give yourself some time off rest relax and then go back into it the problem of holding it right here we're putting uh, strain on um, our scaling muscles to be specific uh, those are our breathing muscles in our neck um, and it's also making me hold the bar and I'm wearing out my forearms a little bit more. So don't need to do that. Um, but to get started here, uh, just like with the clean, we want to keep the bar path nice and linear. We want to keep everything rhythmic and consistent regardless of our level of fatigue. Um, with that snatch, we are starting that same snatch position as if I'm at a one rep max snatch. We're gonna push those knees back, coming through. This time we should make hip contact in that hip pocket where that bar should hang, so I'm relaxed here. This is where I wanna make a little bit of contact. Same thing with the clean, it should give me a little bit of bolt on that way up. Um, we are gonna come into that rep, punch it out. On the snatch especially, a lot of times, people like to go and start bringing that bar down, especially on squats, before they stand it all the way up. Those don't count. Um, so make sure you stood it all the way up, even if you have to pause just a little bit before you bring that bar back down. So we are here, coming up. We've got that first rep. We are going to bring the bar down. We're actually going to lean back a little bit in the snatch. So leaning back, just like a kettlebell swing. Getting those elbows over the top. Brush the quads. Uh, knees stay nice and vertical. And back into the rep. Um, here, same thing with the clean. On that power snatch, we're gonna keep that nice athletic position. When we catch, I go attack the bar. I'm in a nice solid position. My knees are happy, my back's happy, my shoulders are happy. I stand up, lean back, back down into that next rep. Same thing with the squat. All we're changing here is we're pulling ourselves under the bar, punching it up, stand, into that next rep. The biggest thing here is on that way down to get the bar coming down in a good position, keep everything linear. We're not gonna bring it straight down because we're gonna hit ourselves in the noggin. Bring the head back, bar comes forward, elbows over the top, hips back, shin vertical, and snatch. If you have any questions, uh, please ask me, ask one of the other coaches. Uh, we would love to help you. Um, we would also love to help work with you on that uh, personal training session where we can work with your specific body mechanics, your specific build, your specific snatch. Um, highly recommend that, uh, but um, definitely give that a shot. See how it works. Um, get cycling that barbell a little bit faster and have a little bit more fun on those workouts. Have a great rest of your weekend.